Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk to you guys about Adam's sin. Now, you know the story, right? There's Adam and Eve. They were created by God. He made them perfect creations. And he, in fact, he apparently made all of his creations perfect. Now remember, Adam sinned. He ate from the tree, and so did Eve. She sinned too. But if Adam, and this is what it says in the Bible, that Adam's sin <clears throat> brought death into the world. Right? Alright. Adam's sin affected Adam and Eve and all of the generations. And all the following generations, right? All their kids, their kids, their kids, their kids. It keeps on going. But let me ask you this. If it was Adam's sin that brought death into the world and, you know, pain, suffering, that kind of stuff. Because apparently the Garden, of Eden, the Garden of Eden is a place where you can't suffer, to my understanding. So here's the thing. If we look anywhere on the planet, we find mice and dogs and cats and foxes. Why did they die? Because of course God punished our species. He punished human beings. He he didn't you know, um uh the other species didn't do anything. They didn't sin. In fact Adam caused the sin on a tree. He violated a tree, let's say. You know, trees still die. All those animals still die. Why? You know, wh why do all of the animals die if God was punishing human beings? Here's another thing. Maybe, maybe he meant the cell can die. Well, if the cell can die, then that would make sense for human beings to die, but what about trees? They're made of cells too, except they're made of plant cells, not animal cells. Because See, we're made of animal cells because we're animals. Uh, outside, there's a big tree. You guys can't see it because it's really, really bright. It's pretty bright too. Uh... Trees die too. So, I don't get how Adam's sin brought death into the world. Why would God punish every single species if Adam's species was the one that did this? You know, if anything, the tree should get to live forever. You know, it was violated. 